there YouTube, this is Vargas XX78 and uh, my lovely lovely wife uh, just wanted to give you all this is like a, sort of like a life update slash Vargas reviews uh, just giving you an update that you know you've always seen me with uh, these rings but now I have a, a, an even better one and that's a, a wedding ring because me and my wife got married on um, July the 31st which is the day that we actually first met. So yeah, it was a special date and uh, we decided to tie the knot. And uh, she seems happy. Are you happy? See? She is happy. So uh, we've been married now for uh, a week. We've actually been married a week. That so fun? that's that's just the, the big news that I, I wanted to share right off the bat. Uh, that old Vargas XX78 uh, is now a married man. And uh, now that we're married, I'm trying to convince my wife to appear more frequently in these videos. So that, that was the, the big thing, the, the big thing that I wanted to, to share with everyone that, uh, that I'm married and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happily married with her and uh, yeah, it's, it's, married life has, it has been pretty good and it's been working out really, really well. So yeah, so that, that's, the, the, that's the big thing, um, that we're married and we're happy. And uh, you'll see, uh, of course, you'll still see my Green Lantern rings in all my videos, but you'll also see the wedding band. So yeah, that was that, that's that's big. That's that's like the biggest news I can think of uh, sharing with everyone. Uh, but like I said, this is a, a live update. Well, that's why I had the white ring and uh, a Vargas Ryu. Uh, me and my wife went to see a couple of movies um, recently and uh, these last couple of weeks. Uh, before and you know after our marriage and the first movie we went to see that uh, we want to talk about is Blended uh, the Adam Sandler Drew Barrymore movie um, I heard online and I saw a couple of reviews that a lot of people did not like this movie and it actually bombed it's one of Adam Sandler's uh, biggest bombs I think I think Jack and Jill did a lot worse but I heard that this one bombed that even the the allure of seeing Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore back together uh, wasn't enough to get people in the theaters. And Adam Sandler has had that, that a lot of people have complained about their movies, but we liked it. Uh, we thought the movie was funny and mm -hmm. it was cute where it needed to be cute. And it had nice nods to the other movies that they did. They had uh, uh, 10 Second Ted. Mm -hmm. No, uh, from uh, 50 First Dates. Uh, the guy that uh, could only remember 10 seconds of things that happened. They also had uh, a cameo from the, the wedding singer. Mm -hmm. So it had a couple of nods to that. And uh, also they sang uh, Over the Rainbow, which is the end song of Fifty First Dates. So the, the whole theater was laughing, so I was laughing. Uh, did you like it? Si. She, she, she liked it. Uh, did you like Drew Barrymore in it? Si. Son de mis actores favoritos. Yeah, Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore are her two favorite uh, uh, actors, and uh, when she heard that they were going to do another movie together, she, she was all up for it. So she told me that, because um, we have this deal that I, I take her to see movies that I know she's not going to like, but she sees them because of me. So I go see movies that she she wants to see, even though she thinks I'm not going to like them, but I secretly, I secretly do want to see them. So, so it works out. I still... I still come out on top cause, <laughs> because of that. I'll watch any movie, but but uh, Blended uh, was pretty good. We we liked it a lot. Like I said, we we left the theater feeling happy because it's 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 a if you go in, in a couple because that that's the thing a lot. There was a lot of couples in the movie. That's I think why people kind of got it a lot better than if you go as a single person. A lot of people got it, and everyone again was laughing throughout the movie. So so yeah, I think mm -hmm. I think. Los personajes que, que aparecieron de otras películas. Yeah, the, the cameos from, from other movies, yeah. So, yeah, it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. We both enjoyed that one. Uh, the next movie we went to see the next week was Neighbors with mm -hmm. Seth Rogen and Zac Efron. Uh, she was sold right off the theater, uh, from the trailer. She was like, oh, we gotta go see this movie. Uh, mm -hmm. she, th she thought it was gonna be really funny, and it actually is really, really funny. Um, as a couple, Blended, I thought, works good if you're in a couple, but Neighbors... I think works better generally speaking. You might get you might get more into it if you're already married and have a kid. 
because the things mm. the things they go through is uh, is the kind of things you would go through if, mm. if you were just recently married and you had a kid that was just just born and um, the it, it's about this this couple that's married and they have a, ki a, a new kid and uh, this fraternity moves n into the next house and they start doing crazy parties and and uh, the couple wants to you know be cool and you know and try to talk cool about to the uh, to the frat guys but uh, they kind of mess up and th they start this whole war with them uh, which is just really funny to, to see and it's kind of like um, I, I heard this this comparison online it's it's kind of like a, a, a young married movie that crossed over with one of those uh, 80s 90s college uh, humor movies so it's kind of like these two genres mixed together and mixed together and it's it's uh, it's really really funny I thought it was hilarious what, what do you think of neighbors sí, muy yeah you like all the characters yeah, she, yeah, all the characters were really funny. Uh, a scene I saw on, on a trailer was they're having a Robert De Niro party, so everyone's disguised as, as someone from Robert De Niro. So I, I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, really good movie. If, if you have a chance to watch those two movies, definitely recommend them because they're both hilarious. They're both really funny. You'll, I, I can guarantee you'll have a good time. Again, blended. If you're in a couple, you'll enjoy that more. But if not, neighbors, you'll you'll love it all around. It's it's really really good. Uh, the next movie we went to see was Transformers. We went to see Transformers Four: Age of Extinction. Uh, we were a little worried because the movie lasts three hours. Mm -hmm. We didn't get to see Wolf of Wall Street because <laughs> it lasted three hours. But she knows that uh, I've seen the other Transformers movies, and this one looked more interesting I, I think it's better than the second one better even than the third one I think it's because this thing doesn't have as much of the dumb humor uh, it's more serious in tone which I think that's why I liked it a lot better the, st the stakes seem higher uh, it seems like a more more riskier movie and they got rid of, of uh, Shia LaBeouf and they put Mark Wahlberg and I think he, he worked better uh, you, you agree? Yes, I like yeah, she, she likes Mark Wahlberg better than the child above. Mm -hmm. So I think that that worked a lot in his favor. I, again, I heard this movie didn't do so well in the U.S., but I thought it was really good. And from the people that I, I work with, that some say that it wasn't that good. Some say it was good, but too long. I think we can agree that it was a bit too long. Three hours it is... It, there are a couple of things they could have cut. I, I know why they left them there. Uh... But yeah, I was the only thing I, I, w I can say I was really disappointed about is that there's they don't have enough Dinobots. Uh, the Dinobots only come in like in the last twenty minutes, you'd say. No, no. Well, she says like fifteen. She's like fifteen minutes, because uh, that's what got me excited. The Dinobots. The Dinobots were my favorite part of the uh, the original cartoon, and and they were only like the last fifteen minutes of the movie. But I, I still enjoyed it. I still like. What do you think of Transformers? Yeah, she liked it. It just uh, because of Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg really elevated the movie into a a, mm -hmm. a better scale. And really, he 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 really does a good job. Him, uh, Kelsey Grammer plays the villain, uh, even though he's not in the trailers, and he's good. And then um, I, uh, Steve Steve Tucci. Oh, he appeared in the Hunger Games and. Uh, uh, the, the Devil Wears Prada, no, the Wall Guy. Oh, see, see, see. I think it's Steve Tucci. Uh, uh, he was in The Devil Wears Prada mm -hmm. and The Hunger Games. And he was great. He's like the Steve Jobs guy. And he's he's great throughout the movie. He's great in anything that he does anyway. Uh, but he was really cool in this one. And I think that's what that's the reason why we, we liked it a lot better. Because it has a lot of good actors doing... They're having fun with the movie, but they still give a really good performance. So... Mm -hmm. I, that's I think why we like Transformers a, a lot. Uh, the other movie we went to see was Planet of the Apes. She hasn't seen the first mm -hmm. one. Uh, I only gave her a quick recap of, and, and the movie kind of gives you a recap of what happened before. Uh, so we didn't, I, I didn't, I don't own it, so I, I can we can, I can show it to her. But we went to see it, and uh, she went blind. She didn't know anything about the apes. I already saw the the first one. And uh, what did you think of Planet of the Apes? Pues a mí me gustó mucho, este, 
me gustó mucho el trabajo de César, ¿se sí, sí. Ajá, él. Bueno, el trabajo que hicieron con los, con los simios se me hizo muy interesante. Y la historia también está muy buena. O sea, sí. Cómo no valoramos algunas veces a, a ciertas especies. Sí. Definitely, uh, the, the Caesar character is, is the mm -hmm. one that stole the show, definitely. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that Caesar is the best part of the movie. Uh, she's saying that also, uh, it, it, it shows how we treat other species and how, how as humans, we're scared of the, some, anything that's different. Mm -hmm. And when you, you know, we, when you see talking apes, uh, you get freaked out and, and how petty man can be because when, when push comes to shove, mankind can be uh, the worst kind of people ever. But Uh, oh, and, and the movie stars Gary Oldman, and Gary Oldman is, is good in anything that he does. He's, he's, uh, I've seen him in great movies, mm -hmm. I've seen him in horrible movies, but he elevates the movie to better status. So yeah, Gary Oldman, him, him and Caesar, I think, are the, the, the two best parts of, of Planet of the Apes. So that was another good movie. And the last movie we went to see was Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I was sold on the trailer alone because... The, the music in the trailer is amazing, and uh, she doesn't. I don't know that much about the characters in Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, but it's so good that we went to see it twice. We went to see that movie twice, once in English, once in Spanish. And uh, well, what did you think of, of Guardians of the Galaxy? Me encantó, me encantó. Yeah, she, she really sí. liked it. Groot is my favorite. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Groot, Groot in, in her opinion, is the best character. She. Uh, every time that Groot would do something, she was like, uh, she, she, she loved it. Uh, I liked Groot and Ra Rocket Raccoon. Uh, Rocket Raccoon, the, uh, I, I think the, the, that, that team of both of them was, Rocket was, was funny and sarcastic and Groot was just a lovable uh, thing, especially at the end where he's doing the, the dancing oh, to, the, to the Jackson 5. Uh, Chris Pratt was really good as Star-Lord. Uh, Gamora was okay. Batista was good too. Uh, he gave a good performance. Uh, Benicio del Toro is mm -hmm. in it for a bit. Uh, this over the top collector. I, I thought he was good. Sí. Who else? Uh, Lee Pace, which I didn't recognize him at first, but Lee Pace plays Ronan, uh, the accuser. Uh, I didn't know it was him. I, 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 I recognized the voice and a, a little bit his face, but he looks like this big menacing thing. And Lee Pace, I remember him from Pushing Daisies. But um, she didn't place his face either until I told her that uh, he appeared in Twilight. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in the last two Twilights, and then she kind of recognized who, who he was. I thought he was great. I thought Lee Pace was great as Ronan the Accuser. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nebula was also cool. And we got our big, uh, our big look at Thanos, uh, voiced by uh, Josh Brolin, and uh, he he looks interesting. He he looks cool and. They're bringing everything together for the the Infinity Gauntlet, and uh, I keep telling her that that's the best Marvel story line ever, and I'm super excited to see what they're what they're gonna do with that. But yeah, <laughs> out of all the movies, I think I enjoy. Well, I enjoyed all of them in different ways, but I think Guardians of the Galaxy is the one that mm -hmm. I had the most fun at because that movie was funny. It has one of the best soundtracks in movie see? history. Mm -hmm. Great soundtrack. Uh, Even when it, things are are getting tense, they throw something funny, like at the end we're doing the, the dance-off with Ronan, mm -hmm. and Ronan's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm dancing. It's a dance-off. Just great. And I, I, I put the, the music just... I, I put the, the music and it, it, it kind of lives, lives up everything. So definitely Guardians of the Galaxy. Great, great movie. It's, it's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, now I got a work on a way to genetically engineer the Groot because my wife wants a Groot <laughs> and Vin Diesel did the voice we saw the movie in English and Spanish and Vin Diesel did the voice in English and in Spanish which was I, I thought actually pretty cool that mm -hmm. he well after all the money they paid him I guess they had to do it because he only says I am Groot and then we are Groot but everyone mm -hmm. uh, yeah and Do I say Groot? yeah Uh, but yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, amazing movie. If you have a chance to watch it, check it out because it's it's really really good. It's so good. Uh, the special effects. I I, I kind of wish we would have seen it in 3D because uh, it looks like it's amazing in 3D. If no, I can I can edit. I can just pass the video. We're good. Just uh, we're recording it on the iPad, but the iPad only records 15 minutes if you want to upload it on YouTube. But I remembered that 
uh, I can edit it on on the computer, and so we're good. We we can talk for more than fifteen minutes. Uh, what did you like of Guardians of the Galaxy besides besides Groot? Mm. La música, la música fue de lo mejor que que he visto en alguna película y no, la historia está. Ah, me encanta cuando los cuando los nuevo nuevo corps. Ajá, se unen todos para para obtener la la yeah. se hace muy lindo eso. Yeah, she 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 likes the soundtracks. The the soundtrack in the movie again. I just can't I can't express how good the soundtrack mm -hmm. is. And uh, there's a scene where uh, Ronan has this giant ship called the Dark Aster, and he's gonna crash it into uh, uh, into uh, San End, which is the the homeworld to the to the Nova Empire. Uh, I guess because Fox owns the X, the rights to X Men. Uh, they can't use the Shi'ar Empire, I think. Maybe that's the reason why. So instead of using the Shi'ar Empire, uh, they use the Nova Corps. Because they introduced the Kree in this one, and Kree, I was I explained to her that the Kree, the Skrull Empire, and the Shi'ar Empire are like the three more powerful uh, intergalactic empires in the Marvel Universe. So, so I guess that's why they didn't use the Shi'ar, they used the Nova. Uh, but they have the Nova Corps which are kind of like the Green Lanterns in the Marvel Universe. So uh, when, when uh, Ronan is going to crash his ship, they'll kind of do a formation and then they do a force field and they, they stop him. And she thought that scene was really cool. Um, I actually heard, saw a picture that someone was saying that... Uh, the, 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 the image had Rocket Raccoon and he said that awkward moment when you realize that this guy, speaking about Rocket, did more to save people than Superman did in Man of Steel, because uh, the, 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 the followers of Ronan are, are doing kamikaze dives into the city, the city of the Nova Corps, and Rocket Raccoon is uh, piling a ship, and he's actually saving people, and she thought it was really cool. I, I remember this, because uh, there's, uh, there's this pink mother and a daughter that we're going to get mm. flattened, and then a Rocket Raccoon saves her at the last moment. She was like, oh. And uh, and that that pays off later at the end uh, with with another character. So so yeah, I thought it was cool because th there's a lot of destruction. But even though these these five characters, uh, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, uh, Star Lord, Gamora, and and uh, Drax the Destroyer, uh, they're kind of outcasts or they're kind of losers in their own way, and. Uh, they still get together and they still do everything that they can, even though they're overpowered, even though they're outclassed, even though they have no real teamwork until the end. They still come together and they are still able to save people uh, when everything looks their its bleakest and still save the day. I, I think I, I love Avengers because the way that Avengers happen, you know, at, at each individual movie teasing that they were going to come together and then they come together. I like I I, like, I love Avengers because of that, but I think Guardians of the Galaxy. Right now, I think Guardians of the Galaxy is is, is better than the Avengers. I'm gonna say it. Yes, yes. Leave your comments. Right now, I think the Guardians of the Galaxy is better than the Avengers because it's funnier. It's got better music. I think it has better action, and the characters, the bad guys, even though. They're they're kind of your typical bad guys. They they do seem more menacing. And they're funny too. Yeah, yeah, they're funnier. But um, so yeah, right now I might have to see Avengers again to if to change my mind. But right mm -hmm. now I do think the Guardians is better because of all the all the elements. Mostly I think because it, it came out as a surprise. Uh, a lot of people didn't didn't know about Guardians of the Galaxy. They didn't. I heard a lot of comments saying that this movie would be the first Marvel failure, but after seeing the movie, no, I, I think it's, right now, right now it's my favorite Marvel movie. Uh, I'd have to watch Avengers again to, to convince me otherwise, but right now I like, I really mm -hmm. like Guardians of the Galaxy. Stand with me. Support see, me. See, see. What see do you think? <laughs> do you like it better than Iron Man, Thor? Or Captain America. Captain America was good too with the second one. Sí, es que sí, también otras son muy buenas. Pero sí, esta es muy divertida. Yeah. 
And then well, the camera left off otra vez. well, she says she's she's gonna have to watch all of them again to to give her final opinion. But uh, but yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna say it right now. I'm I'm calling it. I think it's it right now. It's the better Marvel movie that that I've seen. But yeah, that was the. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, don't don't say that. Cause I'll I'll hold you to it. <laughs> Yeah. She says that we have to watch a, a, a Marvel marathon to determine what's the best movie, but I've done marathon movies. I have marathoned through a whole bunch of movies, so if, if she says go, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to hold her to it. <laughs> okay, she's, she says we will. Uh, okay, so, yeah, that that was the, that that's the video. Just wanted to, like I said, uh, share the big news that we're married. We're a happily married couple. Uh, she... I'm, I'm gonna try to convince her to appear in a lot more videos. Uh, she, she's kind of shy and, and she doesn't like to appear in front of the camera because she knows everyone's gonna watch her. Mm. And uh, her English is good, but she, she wants she needs to practice it a bit more. But I, I'm gonna try to get her into more videos and uh, yeah, because you're gonna be seeing her for a long, long time, hopefully. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, just wanted to share the big news that uh, it's Vargas XX78 plus one <laughs> and uh, and the movies that we've saw. So, if you have a chance to watch any one of these movies, if you haven't already, uh, definitely watch them in the theater. I think they, uh, I think any movie works better in the theater than and, and home. You might have a, unless you have, you're mega rich and you have a movie theater at home, but uh, just the, the movie experience is, is the thing that I love about the movies. I can watch... Even if it's a crappy movie, if I go see it in the theater and I have a good movie experience, which I always do because I'm with her, uh, it, it, it makes it worth it. The next big movie that we're going to see in the next couple of days is Ninja Turtles. Uh, yeah, we're going to see it tomorrow. Uh, we're actually going to get together with all of my brothers because I have me and three other brothers, our four brothers, and we grew up with the Turtles. So this movie in particular is, is meaningful because of that. So we're, we're going to go see it with all of them. Um, I have mixed feelings about Ninja Turtles. Uh, I saw the latest trailer with Shredder, and I think Shredder looks ridiculous. But the turtles look look interesting enough to watch them. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm I'm looking forward to it. At the same time, I'm dreading that movie, but we'll see. Yeah. Are you excited about Ninja Turtles? See. Yeah, we're gonna go see them with Ninja Turtle T-shirts. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna take some pictures, maybe and share it with you guys when I do the, the next Vargas review, but yeah, just, just uh, three, like, it's been like three times that I said this, but <laughs> just wanted to uh, share this these special moments with you guys. Uh, like always, thanks so much to anyone that watches this and leaves a comment, and until we see you again, uh, this is Vargas XX78 and his lovely wife. Thank you all, and signing out. Bye. Say bye, hon. Bye. <laughs>